Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. We're back over here by the snow biome today. We're gonna be taking a look at the mammoths. So they had a huge TLC update recently, just like the Stegos did. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find one and tame one. They are usually just right inside this doorway over here. Between them, the pigs, and the flying ferrets. Oh man, yep, there's some stuff here. Ooh, what level is that snow owl? 145, dude, we should get another one. I don't remember what gender ours is. Let's see what we can't find. So there's a 145. 35, that man, <laughs> he just doesn't care about a snow owl. A level 55 and a 150. Dude, what is the, what is this one? What's the gender on this one? Oh, that's a female and a male. Dude, I tell you what, let's go ahead and grab this male. And we kind of need to drag him out. Let's take a look over here real quick first so we don't get all messed up and end up getting ourselves killed. Oh, dude, there's a lamb there. Huh, I've been looking for those. So we should go ahead and get rid of the low-level one. Just so he doesn't mess with us. Because as soon as we tag this one, I bet it's going to come running. Let's try it and see. Yep, they both come. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this low-level. Well, that's a new status effect, Intimidated. Oh, our damage is reduced. Well, that's not good. Now oh, we're still doing 329. Got rid of that one at least. And we didn't aggro the others. So yeah, that's a, that's a new debuff that they give you. So we are using the long neck that I got the other day, the 202%, so it shouldn't take too many arrows, I'm hoping, or darts, I mean. So you want to might go ahead and knock out that snow owl too while we're here be awesome to see what kind of stats we get if we uh, end up breeding that one with ours. I, I don't remember what gender they are. Like I said, I left a bag of base by the gotcha. But these things, whenever we tame it, it should have a new buff to where it uh, helps out your stamina regen and stuff like that. Oh, we need to come over here so we don't aggro that other one. But this is our Thyla, Thyla that we're on today, the one that we tamed a couple episodes ago. And he's already running. Nice, dude. If we can get him to sit down right here. I did end up making one piece of kibble for him. He used an Argentavis egg and only had one. So I have that and then I have vegetables for him somewhere. There it is. Just keeping them in the cat so that it'll last a little bit longer. Hey, what? Let's go ahead and double tame. Let's. We'll let him sit there and his food go down some. I do only have the one kibble though, like I said, but it'll be all right. We'll go ahead and get a male and a female. Dude, that's kind of weird going in between the biomes. Or the dome, that is. We can just keep the tree in between him and us. We will be okay. Or us and her. Try not to aggro that one. That snow owl's kind of working in our favor. Got him all occupied over there. So I'm thinking about doing another one of the boss battles soon. The Ice Titan went very, very well. And our mech, it held up pretty good. Other than, I mean, it, all, <laughs> it almost dying. But that was kind of my fault for having my HUD off and not paying attention. But I'm thinking possibly the desert one. I'm having a problem getting the crate to spawn. That has the artifact in it. I've gone down in there a couple times to see if it's spawning. Cause like I said, there are issues where it doesn't spawn sometimes and I couldn't find it. That one or the one that's down in the Aberration Caves. So that's kind of going to be an issue if I can't get the crate to spawn. Oh, dude, don't go too far out here, man. Kind of want to keep you by the other one. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's throw the food in this one. He's had a little bit of time to have for his food to go down. It should go really, really fast with the kibble. Yeah, 50%. Okay, cool. Tell you what. Since we're doing two of those, I don't want that snow owl coming over and messing anything up. Let's go ahead and take them out. Oh, that sucks, man. That was a nice high-level one. All right, so we're cool. Everything's everything's nice and, <laughs> nice and dead over here. I'm going to keep watch, and we'll let this one wake up. And then I'll probably wait to throw food in that one, because I have the vegetables, but I only brought one stack. I didn't expect to see two of them here. 
guess I could half it, huh? Let's go ahead and throw some vegetables in this one. I guess get them both going at the same time. I only brought one saddle, though. Looks like... Yeah, their Torpor might be okay. I brought a stack of Narf with me just in case. I wasn't sure. It's been a very long time since I tamed a mammoth. It'll help out with us getting wood, though, back at base. Oh, dude, don't hit my team! Oh, man! Dang it! I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, dude, our taming effect just dropped in half. Oh, man! Dude, I saw him. I was over there cleaning up the... The, uh, the dead ones that were around. I saw him through the... The, uh, wall here. Oh, man, I don't even want to tame this one now. I mean, might as well just let it wake back up. Give me those back. Well, we'll leave that one here. It's no sense in doing it. We're gonna lose so many levels, man. Because that one had plus 35 after it got hit. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, plus 74. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, well. That sucks. We only have one saddle anyway, so we'll just take the one for right now. Well, we have ourselves a mammoth. No other problems uh, while we were waiting for him. So he turned out to be a 224. 5,900 on the health, 1,400 on the stamina, 910 on the weight, and 356 on the damage. Movement speed's 200. Was that a wolf I heard? Is that you? Man, I'll be doing that. <laughs> Thought we were about to be attacked by wolves. Let's go ahead and throw the saddle on him. And we're going to put him back into a cryopod to take him back to base. I'll keep the keratin. Don't need the meat. Man, that sucks that we didn't get the other one. That would have been nice to have both of them. But is what it is. All right. Oh, yeah. So see, he has war drums on the back. That's how you get the bonus. 200 movement speed. That's not too bad. So let's see what his attacks look like. So he's got the regular swipe. Okay, okay, okay. His uh, his front horns do look a lot better than they did on the uh, previous model that they had. And then there's a... Let's see. Wait, how do we... Now, I don't want to hide the... Oh, you can hide the drums. How do we change the seats? There we go. So as you play this, you get a bonus. You can see in the bottom corner down there, it says ready for war. So we recover stamina and we're immune, immune to fear. So if you got yetis around, man, that'd be awesome to have somebody, one of your tribe mates on the back of this plane. Kind of see how we're glowing a little bit too. Nice. Okay, how do we... There we go. So it said hide war drums, right? We're still back there, though. Oh, we're, we still got the... <laughs> we still had the buff going on us. Alright, so another thing that they do is... So you can pick up smaller creatures and humans, or humans, whichever you prefer, and you can throw them. So I don't want to throw this guy too far because I do want to kill him and take him back to base. We do need some more lamb chop. But... <laughs> I do got launched, man. Doesn't look like it does any damage to him. That's kind of neat. Can you... You can't throw him behind you. How high can he go? Ah, uh, it throws him more forward than he does up or anything else. That's pretty awesome, though, man. I don't know if his damage got any different. Let's go ahead and kill this guy, see. So we do 171 base damage. Oh, don't run, man. Dude, that guy's still over there taking a nap. Nice. Let's go ahead and jump off and grab that meat. I need to throw it in the grill that we got. Dude, that's a ton of mutton, man. Holy crap, 266? Thing is, we need to get back to base before it it goes bad. Can I... So what is it? Nine minutes in us. Oh, 36. Yeah, that's awesome. So, 5,900? 66. That's a lot of health on each one. And it was 171, I believe? Let's find something else to beat on real quick and see how much it scales up on damage. Watch it be like nothing over here. Oh, is that a... Oh, I thought that was a thylet. It's a trike. 
Oh, there's a wolf. So, 178, so it doesn't go up too much. Dude. Yeah, we need to get our health up. But he gets a huge uh, weight reduction for wood. That's the main thing we'll be using him for. So what does his weight go up? Eh, about 30 on each one. That's not too bad. We definitely want to get the damage up. Just to be able to protect ourselves. Alright, man, come on. Bang on this tree a little bit, see what we get. Oh, I can't hold anything. Wait, yeah, I can. So that's 12.5 for one stack. I think it's 50? Yeah, so that's a pretty big weight reduction, man. Helps out a ton whenever you're out trying to farm and stuff. Not too bad, though, man. I like it. We're going to have a lot of use for them back at base. Anyways, going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you uh, find some use in the new TLC buff that they have for this guy. It's really, really good how they redid it. I hope they continue to remake some of the older creatures that they haven't updated, especially just the model, man. It looks a lot better, especially how you think a mammoth would look like, you know? But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.